Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I am Trisha with Ocean Lane Interiors, so we can get started. A little about me. Um, I always wanted to be a designer ever since I was a kid. Um, when I was about seven years old, my mom gave me this dollhouse, and she, she, it was like some antique thing my grandma had. I don't know, but she went to work, and I had a bottle of paint, and so. I gave it like homemade wallpaper and she was really mad but that's it was my first project and she still has it so I had her take a picture of it and send it to me um, and then as I got older I would I started watching like shows and I found out like interior design was a thing and I was like oh my gosh I'm doing this uh, so in high school I actually started drafting um, I was in woodshop all four years and so in woodshop, I would make my own furniture, like the guys, and I was the only girl, and the guys would be making, you know, wood goblets and all that. And I was like, that's so dumb. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I made like a dining table for my mom and I made like, I have a lot of the stuff still, like bookcases and anything I would see in a catalog that I wanted. As a teenager, I couldn't buy, so I would just make it. Um, and then my cat or my woodshop teacher actually told me about AutoCAD and so then I started taking AutoCAD and there was a class so that it was geared towards more for um, engineering but they would be building like engines or something in AutoCAD and I would get floor plans so it was kind of cool to do that. I was also experimenting a lot in my parents house thankfully they didn't mind too much but like on my way home I would walk home and I would pass Ganal lumber and so I would buy paint randomly and just paint my bathroom or like my bedroom and they were kind of just like they would come home from work and it'd be different they'd be like oh okay <laughs> Um, they left it and then when I moved out they painted everything like right away but <laughs> I guess the jokes on me because my son is a hundred times worse than I was and every day he likes to rearrange my couch so that's our current struggle right now. Um, I have a bachelor's of science in interior design and I've worked as a designer for over 15 years um, I've owned Ocean Lane for almost nine now and I'm an American Society of Interior Design, Paul. And on the side, when I have a little bit of free time, which isn't very often, but I try, I'm a member of the Habitat for Humanity Women's Build Team over down the street. Um, I'm an award-winning designer, so I've won a few awards through ASID in the last few years. Um, particularly, my favorite one is small bath. I love doing bathrooms, so little bit about me. This is my family. Uh, my husband and I have been married for 16 years. We got married twice actually. Our first wedding was in India and then we got married here at Disneyland Aww. for our kids. My older son Hadrian is 13 and he's definitely my child. He, uh, for his fifth grade school project, I taught him AutoCAD and he designed his room and then pitched me the design and we bought everything and put it together. So uh, it, it worked out for him. My other son, Gaius, does not like design at all. Like it's kind of hilarious. But uh, Hadrian is on the Mariners uh, youth sailing team in Dana Point. Uh, he also is working on his Eagle Scout right now. Uh, he's my little adventurer. He's, really into 3D printing and I'm trying to get, like, I ask him to print stuff. It's, I'm the last priority, but I'm hoping to him make me, I just bought him like the food grade filament so he can start making me cookie cutters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my younger son, Gaius, uh, plays travel hockey. So if I'm not here, I'm usually traveling for travel hockey. We just went to Boston. We're going to Texas next week. Um, so having my own business has really given me the flexibility to be able to travel on a win whenever I need to go. Um, he plays for Gold Rush down in Lake Forest, and he also 
is a USA hockey referee. So he referees all the games for 12 years old and under, and he makes pretty good money for an 11 year old. So um, he loves doing that. So interior design. So my goal with my business is to make it simple. A lot of times it's like, you know, there's all these little pieces and people very, very easily get overwhelmed. And I try to just calm the storm and it's okay, we can get through this. So just taking everything and letting it be simple to the client. So I work on all that. So my little studio uh, down in San Juan, right in downtown off Ortega. So you can come by anytime. Mm. So my target market. So my favorite type of clients are left-brained people. So people that are work in the financial industry, <laughs> accountants, financial analysts, legal industry, engineers even, and investment consultants, anybody that deals with numbers on a regular basis, usually the design is so far outside their element that they really appreciate the help and want the help. And if I said to them, picture this wall red, a lot of them struggle with that, where people with the more creative side don't, oh yeah, okay, red, that looks good. So they really benefit a lot. Usually they have pretty good paying jobs, so they can pay for this, which is nice. Um, homeowners, any type of homeowner. Uh, usually I find the homeowner that will come to me is when there's like a shift in occupancy, like they're now empty nesters or now they have a new baby or now their mom is moving in or whatever. Um, people that are downsizing and unfortunately unexpected circumstance, there's a leak, they're remodeling their kitchen, they're remodeling bathroom because there was a plumbing, whatever, catastrophe and now they're like, well, we might as well do this, right? Uh, larger projects, of course, new construction, full remodel, home additions, multi-room spaces. I also don't work just in California. I do a lot of new construction outside of California. Prior to Ocean Lane, all my clients and projects were nationwide. I did a lot in New York, Texas, uh, Seattle, all over the place. So I'm perfectly able to do that from a distance. <laughs> <clears throat> so my design process is I like to start with a consultation. I do charge for consultations unless it's, you know, one of you personally. But if you were to refer me, I do charge for them um, where we go into the space. And once I'm in the space, I can give them an actual quote. And then I credit back the consultation fee and quote. Uh, during that time, we go over what they like, don't like. I have a questionnaire I send to them ahead of time so that we, during that time, I know kind of what they're do they want to do. And we also go over budget. Uh, then once all that's approved and it goes into the design phase, I present design concepts for the client. And then I help make sure that everything we've selected is within budget. I do my best as much as I can. But every once in a while, I, I have a um, splurge item that I'll suggest to them, like, oh, this splurge item, but maybe your birthday's coming up, you could ask for this. <laughs> and then I do install too. So I work with a great team, love to bring a lot of you in to make sure that the design uh, is, I'm only as good as my installation, right? If I create the design, it's amazing, but installers are horrible, it doesn't, doesn't matter. So we gotta make it great all the way. Okay, so this is a before picture. This, it's kind of hard to see. These are actually banker boxes. This is a single guy hired me and he had no furniture besides this bed. So this is an example of what I would show him. So they get, everyone, all my clients get like their own personal link to my website where all their designs are uploaded. And this is using, he really didn't give me much like to go off of, so I just kind of ran with it. <laughs> and then this is how it was at the end. 
So very rarely do I get clients that are like, great, let's go. Like usually they want to change like one little thing. He didn't change anything. So it worked out great. <laughs> this, um, the, so now I have some before and after. So this is that picture you saw when you first walked in. Simon and I actually worked on this one together a while ago. Um, we changed the stairs, the fireplace. I actually had to beg the client to let me do the fireplace. They didn't want to, and I was like, please, please, please. What's we, the material there? It looks it's really It's actually nice. a tile. Ooh. So pretty. Yeah, a large format. Slab. No. It's a large format tile that I personally sat and laid out the lines so that we can make it read as much as possible but we actually the one thing you don't see is there were windows up here i we covered them from the interior view so the hoa was really really hard to deal with so just covered them inside mm. so that we can carry it all the way up please uh, again on the tile is that slab size um no it, it there's was no seams four by two there are oh, seams see but it's them. a blue grout so yeah. you don't um, really see it yeah, very it's, well it's very four by two foot yeah four by two Beautiful. This is the bathroom. Uh, so we moved the shower over here because they have a really, really nice view. So they wanted to be able to capture that as much as possible. I'm just start going through. Um, this one I like to show because <clears throat> this particular client had a very, very tight budget for the entire house. New couple, young, just bought their first home. And we... I tried to minimize as much as like spending as possible. So the main thing we did was I gave them new lamps and repositioned some furniture from the other rooms to their room and then painted so that they still had like a really nice bedroom, but it didn't really cost that much. So design doesn't have to be you know, their headboard or you got them a new headboard? I got them a new headboard, which just headboards aren't crazy. So uh, this was a new bathroom remodel. This was it before, which I'm sure a lot of people have seen very similar <laughs> situations. Uh, we gave them a new wet room. I actually redid their closet. They had the shower in a closet, or I mean, it was a shower, became a closet, and now the shower's over here. <laughs> Another bathroom, again, they have this like three by three shower. These are my least favorite things in the world. And every time I see one, it has to be redone. So <laughs> this is now what it became. This was just an empty room. So I love <laughs> empty rooms. Those are my favorites. So uh, wow. this is an empty room. Client's daughter just moved out. She's like, <clears throat> I want it to be for me now. It's been for her forever. So she loved to read. We made, um, reading nook for her and also another empty room um this particular client has they live here so everybody that wants to go to disneyland comes to stay at their house so they wanted like a disney themed room so we went with this those polka dots are actually vinyl stickers because they weren't a hundred percent committed so we went with that versus painting because if they decide they don't like it, they can just rip it off. <laughs> uh, this is the bathroom laundry room combo. I've seen a lot of these, <clears throat> you know, in South County. So just repurposing it to make it look nice. And that's all. This is, a, I do commercial also. So this is commercial. I don't know if you have little kids. I've done all the evolution swim schools. Um, so if you ever are in any of their locations, you can me. And it's actually one this location won a few awards too. So that's Very it. Nice. So follow me.